Right, we're on the first day of Tessel and we've started our three day process in choosing our idea. Jemiah's really into it. Yeah. Um, and we've skittled it down to three ideas. Chase. Three solid three ideas. ideas. So we have a, a court, court, court lights that like light up the, the lines in, in courts instead of, you know, all the confusing lines that are there for different sports. Uh, Noise! What's two? We got a uh, kicking tee for, for rugby, so when you place it on the field, it like uh, tells you how far it is, like how far to kick or, or where the wind's coming from and how, how much wind there is. And uh, number three? The smelly bibs. It's the smelly bibs, but we don't know what it's going to be exactly, but uh, we'll figure it out at some point. We're going to stop bibs smelling. <laughs> and we've just come out of our second session, which was yoga. about... Trends. Trends, setting trends. Hi, trend uh, Gribby. No, Don't know what she's doing. Um, Would you like to expand on uh, what we knew about that? Chase is currently eating. Sorry, Terry is currently eating, so I will explain. <laughs> um, we looked at current trends that are going on in the world at the moment and might happen in the future and how they could link to our company. Okay, we've come out of our third meeting and um, it's not been good, if I'm honest. The idea already exists, which is horrible for everyone. Um, yeah, uh, anything to say? Let's get back to work and think of more ideas. Back to square one. So we've finished fourth stage of it, uh, which is where we've been coming up with ideas, and um, have we got any ideas? Um, not really. Yeah, that's about as good as it's gonna get. Um, so we have come out of dinner. We've eaten, which is nice. We're all a bit happier. Jemiah's offered the fairies, <laughs> and we've come up with a new idea, which is about adjustable cleats or boots, and so that the studs can go up and down. So I'm much more hopeful, and we're looking forward to the next few hours. Um, Day two of Tessel, we are created our product and we've done our pitch, or we're getting our pitch ready and completing our BMCs. We need a couple of signatures, um, but we're, we're looking positive compared to where we were again last night, and it's all looking good. Hey, so we're at a football club uh, just opposite the Javier and we're doing some market research which Jamal is going to explain. Uh, so far we have interviewed like a few parents from the younger age groups. We're going to do a bit older next. Uh, it's been going good. Got a lot of information, found out some new stuff, interacted with the parents. Games are exciting as well, so everyone is into the games. Yeah, and Chase is here. I'm here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we're going to go out and do a bit more. Yeah. Cool. Knowledge. So, we are at the Nike store, checking out the competition. And we're seeing different shoes. Oh, can't get them real. So, we've got a oh. <laughs> screw, which is, as you can see, you lose the screw. So, yeah. Good point, mate. Don't want that. Then we also have uh, these boots, which are like plastic. Um, they don't move, but we think they're sort of the multi-turf sort of things where you can use on grass and on artificial, but nah, it's not what looking for. And then, as Chase just picked out, these purple horrendous things are what look like just turf shoes. Yeah, like um, tiny studs. Again, like rubbery. Are they rubbery? Yeah, yeah, so they're like rubbery, whereas the ones before, so these ones, can't really see, are more like plastic. Um, so that's interesting to know um, yeah. but there's nothing where the studs are changeable and that they stay on the shoe so okay so as you can see with these studs here they basically they have like a place where they're I don't know like this is the main frame I would say so if you could just click these in they would perfectly go into the main frame basically mm -hmm. Um, and then if we had some of these to spread like here, 
potentially we could create a new shoe, you know, with good grip for artificial grass. We're just about to go into a meeting to tell everyone our first prototype and um, we have a vague picture here. Nice. Chase is also demonstrating what our prototype sort of does. It yeah. twists in and out. It's not, nice. <laughs> it's not working right now, but it will be doing in a minute. Um, we're unsure about how we're going to get the, the stud to lengthen and shorten. We're, um, looking at a pen design, a twisting design. Um, we've had a few ideas, but we want to run it past a designer who we're also just about to email. Uh, yeah, we had a meeting with Nico who um, gave us the address of the head of the design at the Faculty of Design. So we're getting hold of him and hopefully he'll give us the design. And um, yeah, it's looking promising. We've done our market research, so yeah, we're reasonably happy. So this is the design we got back from the designer, which Jemaya is going to demonstrate. So as you can see, you twist it and you pull it out and give it another little twist. And now the stud is out and it can't be pushed back in. And then if you want to go onto an artificial turf, you give it another twist, bit of a push, twist again and can't come back out. Nice. Nike, Today, ClickCleats has been to the European headquarters of Nike in Hilversum. Jemaya, what have we been up to? Uh, we spoke to Nick, that's his name, right? Uh, we had a good talk with him. We made some, got some useful information for the business plan especially. Could make a few adjustments. And yeah, some good advice at the end of the day. Yeah. And Chase, what's been your favorite part? Uh, I like where he liked our idea. <laughs> nice. We've also spent a large sum of our student funds on Nikes because 25% off and yeah, it's been a very, very good meeting. Uh, we were also slightly disappointed with the building um, because as you can see, it's a nice building really. There's um, a few things going on, there's a nice little courtyard, but there's absolutely no Nike signs anywhere which is a bit of a letdown so yeah, a bit disappointing that. So, uh, just debriefing from our um, meeting with Nick, uh, he was really, really forward about the um, about the idea. He really liked the design, thought we were onto something, which is really nice. Um, he also suggested that we use a similar way to the way that Air used Nike. So, be part of Nike, but not um, not sell Nike, but sell as like Nike click cleats, and then Nike can also sell their own line of boots as well, similar to what Nike Air does and what Air do have their agreement with Nike. So that's really, really promising. And um, yeah, they Air get to use a lot of the Nike resources. Um, so that's great. We, um, we're going to base it around that, and we're looking forward to the next few weeks, which is good. Uh, yeah, working hard on the presentation we have next week. Um, Jemaya is also here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just preparing for uh, for next week. Ready for it. So Chase, what have we just done? Added in the business report. <laughs> okay, we are at our final meeting before our business presentation tomorrow. Everyone is pumped for it. Woo! Um, yeah, we're looking forward to the presentation. We're feeling confident, we're feeling good. Just got to convince our investors that we're going to boss it. Yeah, we're going to rehearse right now, actually. Look up for tomorrow. Yes. Last words? Get some practicing. Practice. Yeah, going to boss it.